Hi everybody, Feminism on Trial again, and we are going through the list of things men can do to prevent gender violence by Jackson Katz, who is considered to be the authority on masculinity across the world. You can Google him and have a good time with it. Uh, you might need some nausea medication, just letting you know, because I was reading some of his stuff and I was like, you know, <clears throat> woo! Make sure, you know, it's after you've eaten and it's gone down. All right, we're on number five. Let's continue with this wisdom. If you are emotionally, psychologically, physically, or sexually abusive to women, listen up, all you little Genghis Khan guys, or have been in the past, seek professional help now. Really? As if some sociopath, because of course there are dudes that do that. So some sociopathic violent guy who happens to take it out on his spouse, he's going to read that and go, you know, I never thought of it that way. I'm going to change my ways. I'm going to call a counselor right now. What a bunch of bull. What, what is he, he needed 10, so he had to make that kind of, like, nothing up? Duh. I mean, yeah, if you've done stuff in the past that's bad and you realize it, address it. That's all he's saying. He's just tailoring it to men perpetrating violence upon women, trying to make it seem like it's so common, which it's not. Think about all the people that you know. Think about all the relationships that you've had. It's not common like they're trying to convince you that it is. It's just not. You know why? It's not in men's nature. Men's nature is to protect and provide. If they are beating on somebody that they're supposed to be taking care of, something's wrong up here. And it's completely rare. It's, it's rare. Anyway, stay tuned for the next little tidbit of wisdom from our friend Jackson Katz.